What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Halloween Ends, Chucky Season 2, Terrifier 2, and Joker 2. That's a lot of twos in there that I'm just now realizing. So just to kick it off with Chucky Season 2. The Chucky Season 2 trailer, or a new trailer, released yesterday, and we learned now, going off of this trailer, that Lexi, Devin, and Jake will be sent to Incarnate Lord. That's the name of this Catholic school, I guess, they're going to be going to, boarding school. They'll be there with other juveniles. So, the trailer highlights their concerns about Chucky coming after them again, which we know he does. We see glimpses, actually, of Devin, I believe, getting into a brawl of sorts, like they're about to stab a Chucky doll. There's also a line about having a higher kill count than someone has instagram followers by chucky that i know turns some people off lines like that get a pass from me if he's directing it at the kids because it makes sense with that context because he's trying to fit in with them but we get to see chucky strangle a priest this i don't know why but of course if you're a buffy fan you'll you'll get what i mean when i saw him strangling the priest it gave me flashbacks to angelus corrupting drusilla during those flashbacks from becoming part one and two uh Lexi seems to be developing an addiction with drugs, and I know Don Mancini said in the SFX, SFX magazine that Devin and Jake's relationship will be tested as well, due to the church obviously not approving most likely. This should just, of course, be a plot thread that would make them more likable uh, in terms of their relationship and ultimately just make their relationship stronger. This is not, I don't think, going to end up in them breaking up by any means. We see glimpses of a bald Chucky doll and the other army members of that of that army from the first season interacting before Tiffany says, don't make me come back there. So this is a sign to me that that's a scene that will take place in the back of that van that she still has Andy at gunpoint in. That's the sequence I'm most excited about to see how that plays out and where all these Chucky dolls are going. So, so much more was featured in this trailer because Tiffany also seems to be on Chucky's radar clearly with this trailer. The dialogue that we heard also confirms certain things about an audition tape leak as we saw Lachlan as Glenn and Glinda. So I can't wait to see this season. If you haven't checked out the trailer, go check it out. Just to jump into Halloween Ends, a new TV spot for Halloween Ends showed Karen Nelson a little bit and some other stuff. Um, this this might have actually been two different TV spots and I'm just conjoining them into one, but I could have swore it was one TV spot that started off with like flashbacks of Karen Nelson before jumping into other stuff. Before I talk about that other stuff, I do want to talk about Judy Greer because Judy Greer was interviewed by E! News recently and was asked about Karen possibly appearing in Halloween Ends. She said, do you think I can talk about that at all? I can't talk about that, but I love you for trying. Now, of course, a response like that would have people like me and many others thinking she's going to appear so we'll see what happens i'm gonna go out and say i don't think she'll be back this might have been her just respecting the movie and not wanting to spoil anything because honestly the other side of it is you don't have to do that if you're not contractually signing anything you could say yes or no so now of course many of you will logically think that she's going to be in the movie which is fine we also had this image of Lori and Lindsay from halloween in surface online i imagine this is an image that occurs after the opening sequence with Corey's babysitting accident with this boy presumably named jeremy going off of the track listing titles this new tv spot also featured Corey teasing somebody presumably Lori, about michael coming back and what what is she going to do when he does come back so i'm like this is more proof that something's going on with Corey cunningham uh rohan's camp rohan campbell's portrayal of the character does seem to make Corey very off-putting in a lot of ways so i'm like are we going to focus on Corey and on top of him not being a likable character he's going to be bothering the character we all would rather the movie be focused on uh even though it might be a compelling narrative and rohan campbell will be giving a great performance i'm certain uh i would just like wow even more proof as to why this movie probably should have been about Lori Strode primarily, or sh at least focus on her a bit more. But uh, jumping into tickets for Terrifier 2, or Terrifier 2, what I meant to say. Terrifier 2's tickets have gone on sale from AMC. Uh, for those catching Terrifier 2 in AMC theaters, tickets are available, and you have a chance to see this movie on three different dates. October 6th, October 9th and october 10th now october 9th and 10th to my knowledge that's when scream 2 is having its re-release i believe so i won't be attending it on either of those days i'll do my best to either see it this month at fantastic fest if they if they allow us to watch it at home or i'll just see it on the first night when it's released in theaters on october 6th we know this movie is following uh his gruesome demise in the first film that being art the clown a sinister presence has brought art back to life to rain terror on the residents of miles county on halloween night he returns to the unassuming town and 
sets his sights on fresh prey teenage girl and her little brother portrayed by lavera and elliot fulham respectively david howard thornton is no doubt going to be another highlight and probably the standout for me when it comes to these movies but i'm excited for the movie overall go get your tickets for terrifier 2 if you want to or if you just don't care and will prefer to watch reviews before you watch it that's fine too of course do what you want with your money this movie uh going off of the trailer and just the way it's been hyped i'm not expecting something great obviously we know it's over two hours long so hopefully it doesn't have pacing problems but that might be one of the weaknesses since it's over two hours long i'm just expecting this to deliver a very satisfying final battle between our final girl and art the clown since that's been hyped up by one of the producers the movie has already gotten some very positive reactions already and david howard thornton and his portrayal as a character has always been the highlight for me with these movies that have come out with art in them anyway because i was remembering when i was watching the original terrifier i think i mentioned on the channel one of the things that i was always wishing was that everything else around him was also on his level because he's so good at just getting lost in the role but just to jump into joker 2 really quick we have a joker 2 casting update jacob laughlin will join the cast of joker 2 as an arkham asylum inmate i believe the hollywood reporter reported this first uh he's going to be starting in the film as an arkham asylum inmate and friend to the joker so this is another sign that the report also that came out earlier this year about a chunk of this movie taking place in arkham asylum more details like this are just proving that to be true uh so we'll see what ultimately ends up being specifically true when they start filming later this year now with him being a friend to the joker and the report also said considering he's playing an arkham asylum inmate laughlin is probably going to turn up the turn up the crazy for this role so i was thinking that maybe at first before i even read the report that we would get joker arthur flashbacks and that was going to be portrayed by this individual but i guess not he's going to be an inmate that's friends to the guy maybe he breaks out with harley quinn and the joker in the process of them or, or of her helping arthur escape he'll take his friend with him and that's their spin on the mad love narrative that's going to be portrayed in this upcoming movie since you know lady gaga is going to star as his harley quinn but we'll see what happens with joker 2 when it releases in october of 2024 i believe if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video